Well, ladies and gentlemen, everybody that's using uh, catheters to catheterize themselves, uh, see, you don't have to use a catheter, a new catheter every time. See, when you buy them, they say you have to use them every time or you get infection. Well, I figured out a way of preventing an infection. See what happens when you use a new one every time. When you uh, insert it in to the bladder, well, uh, the only place the urine comes out is through the tube itself. And so therefore, uh, down your urethra, uh, nothing, no urine goes down there anymore. Nothing to flush the bacteria out. So if you do get some bacteria up your urethra, ure, uh, it'll lay in there and it may uh, start uh, uh, growing and it'll give you an infection. So uh, what I've done is I've taken a uh, uh, the, the catheter and I've put more holes in it. So in a second, I can't do it right now, but I'm going to show you the catheter in a minute with the holes in it and how I put the holes in it. But what happens when you put the... Uh, the ure of the catheter, when you insert the catheter, uh, the, the way my method is, is the uh, as soon as you put it in, as soon as the urine, urine starts coming out, you put your finger over the end of the catheter. And then what you do is you squeeze, and what happens is that with the extra holes in it, the, uh, the urine goes through the regular hole where... Uh, the regular catheter has, and then it goes out the holes that that I put them in, put in there, and then what happens? The urine instead of going down the tube and only down the tube, it goes out the outside of the tube, and the urine goes down and out just like a regular, just like when you pee, and so therefore when it does that, uh, when it uh, washes, if there's any bacteria in there, it washes it out with the urine that you are yearning and uh, and so therefore you don't get infection simple as that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over on the other side of the camera where you can see the catheter and I'm going to show you how to put the uh, the holes in it and where the holes go so uh, when I come back I'm going to show you that well ladies and gentlemen I'm going to redo this video I put up a while back about catheters uh, I've come up with a lot better idea and it's been working for about six months now so uh, why do a whole bunch of stuff that's unnecessary and you know this bowl of uh, catheterizing yourself is a pain in the ass anyhow and so uh, so I'm going to try to show you it's going to going to be real easy and you're going to love it so this is what you need well you need the that tube well, I, I'll talk to you a minute, and then I'll, I'll show you the tube and how it works in a minute. But that's it. You know, the uh, den, uh, the doctors, they want you to uh, use a uh, catheter uh, one time. It's, you know, they come in, uh, uh, they come in uh, sealed package, and you know, you got to open it up and all that stuff, and throw it away, and do another one, and do another one. Me, I just use one catheter, and that's it. And, uh, you know, it makes it quick and easy. And uh, and so that's what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to shut it off. I'm going to switch the camera on the other side. And we're going to show you how to do it. Okay, so what you need is you need a... Uh, so so you, you got the tube. You got it down here. You've got a uh, cap here. Then you got a cap on the top, and the cap on the bottom uh, holds the uh, peroxide in. And this lid here, the reason I cut it, cut it twice there, so you so you can get it on and off really easy. And so here's your catheter. So what you do, you reach in, pull the catheter out. You tip it upside down, and 
and the, the, the steel rod comes out of it. Then what you do is you take this, before you uh, catheterize yourself, you take your, uh, your uh, peroxide here, you put a couple shots down, down the, the catheter, and then on the sides of the catheter, and then you take it, and you, uh, you catheter, push it in, and uh, until, the, until the pee starts coming out, and then you put your finger over the end of it, and you hold it, and what happens out of the hole we're going to show you how to put in, the water comes out there, and you squeeze maybe only a couple, three, four, five seconds, get the water, and you shake it like that, and then, then you let off of it, and then the water, the pee will go ahead and drain out, then you take it out, and uh, you you put a couple more shots of uh, peroxide in here, and a couple on the side, and then you put your uh, you put your steel rod back in, and then what you do, you put it down in here, back into the, your uh, plastic dude, and then you uh, put your cap on it, and you're all done. So this is how you do it: you take and pull the cap off. You reach in and get your catheter. Now sure you have your uh, glove on. And then you take it and flip it upside down. And your steel rod comes out. You hold it like this. You take your, uh, your uh, peroxide here. You spray a couple shots in there. A couple on the outside. You take it and you uh, insert it in. Until, until the pee starts coming out, and then you squeeze, you shake it, you shake it like this with your finger on it, and the, uh, the pee will come out the side, and you only have to do that a couple, three, four, five seconds, shake it, and then you let that off of it again, and you drain all, once all the pee is drained out, you pull it out, put it up, take a couple more uh, shots of uh, peroxide and put it in there, a couple shots on the side, and then you... Uh, Take and put your uh, put your steel rod back in, which I've only got one hand to do it here. And then you take it and put it back in your uh, tube with your peroxide in there, and you put the cap back on, and you're done. That's that's the way it goes. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to put a hole. Uh, right about about five inches from here up on your catheter. So uh, my caliper says five inches, and you can see you can see the hole that I put in mine already. Can you see the hole right there? And so the way you put the hole in it, you take this apparatus here, and uh, so you put it on the smallest scale. And the smallest scale is looks like it's a 564. And uh, so then, on these catheters here, you can see a, a line that goes all the way up and lets you know where it is. So what you do is you put it 90 degrees to that line. I don't know if you can see it now, but there's the hole, and it's, I try to put it 90 degrees five inches from the tip to the hole. So you take this and you turn it around and then what you do you just take that uh, take your catheter You set it up there like that. You get it where you want it. 90 degrees from the, the line. Maybe I can go over here and show you again. There's the line. And you try to get it 90 degrees. And then you just squeeze really hard and it puts a hole in it. And what it, what it does, uh, the reason why you get infected with these catheters is because uh, when you uh, start using the catheters, the uh, urine uh, 
comes down through the hole on, on the uh, catheter and it goes down the tube and out, but nothing goes uh, down your urethra to clean it out. So when that when you got that hole there, oops, wait a minute, the hole's up here now, uh, it lets the water come out, come down here, and then when you put your finger over the hole here uh, it and squeeze, it makes the water come out the, this hole here and it comes down the side of the uh, the uh, tube and uh, it, it, it is similar to you know you regular pee in because the pee goes down and it goes and it flushes any bacteria that's up into your uh, your uh, urethra and so therefore uh, you know you can do it this way and never have any problem with any infections or anything and uh, you don't have to mess around with these uh, box after boxes and mess around and trying to open them up and all that other stuff. Uh, and you don't have to worry about uh, infection because this way it's like it's a natural way of doing it because the water, the, your pee comes out this hole and it, and, go, and it flushes all, if there's any bacteria in your urethra, uh, in your tool there, uh, it flushes it out and you're good to go. So hopefully you, you got it. So here's the holes that comes in with the uh, see the hole right there that comes with the uh, in the uh, catheter itself so you go on up here a little bit and you'll see the hole that I put in right there and there it is so what you so here you have you have your uh, your tube and your uh, rod and your your uh, catheter in there and what you do right by your toilet you get a little clamp and you clamp it right up on the wall or whatever wherever you want it where it's, wherever it's convenient for you and uh, that will hold it in position where you need it to be